Daniel, um, I'm going to basically give you the floor for your final story okay. because our guest will be joining us in six minutes. Okay, I'll dr- try and give people some time to respond. But this is so. This is actually a story that was sent to me by uh, one of our patrons on uh, Patreon. By the way, if you don't know, uh, you can try and send us stuff on uh, Discord or Patreon. I check Patreon all the time, so I'm going to see the Patreon. Uh, and uh, uh, John, DCK, Punk, and Kit, and a few others check the Discord more. So you can send us stories. It's a real thing. Uh, they just have to be, you know, fit with what we usually cover, and uh, we're happy to do that. But anyway, so Mona actually sent me this. She sent me a number of stories. I picked this one, and it's a little bit of foreign policy because, you know, a lot of people have been asking for a little more foreign policy. Send me foreign policy stories on Patreon. I will try to cover them more. Cool? Okay, let's talk about the story. So uh, the U.S. is basically burning up Syria's wheat because reasons. So, after delivering their fiery payload, the helicopters flew close to the homes in an aggressive manner, which caused residents, and especially small children, to fear for their lives. Remember, America has made a lot of parts of the uh, planet uh, scared of blue skies because that's when drone strikes happen. The military maneuver was delivering a clear message, don't sell your wheat to the Syrian government. On May 4th, President Assad said in a meeting with his COVID-19 team uh, that, quote, most of our difficult internal challenge uh, is securing basic uh, goods, especially foodstuffs, uh, since beginning the U.S. NATO attack on Syria in 2011, because, you know, why not keep going for a decade when you could just not? Wheat production has fallen from an average of 4.1 million tons per year to just 2.2 million tons in 2019. Now, the great irony in that drop is the whole reason that the Syrian civil war started is because the government mismanaged a drought. And here we have the U.S. government going, oh, let's make that a thing that keeps happening. So Syria had been what we didn't, uh, been a wheat importer, but switched to being an exporter of grain in the 90s. So they actually were exporting food until we burned it with our helicopters. According to the UN, Syria was hit by acute food insecurity in 2019, with approximately 6.5 million people considered food insecure. Uh, in the northern provinces, um, count for about 96 percent of their total wheat production. And using fire as a weapon of war, 85,000 hectares of grain were burnt in 2019, and the Syrian government was forced to import uh, 2.7 million tons to cover their losses. Destroying the Syrian agriculture has been a war strategy used by various enemies of Syria and has resulted in mass migration of residents in villages uh, to Germany by way of Greece via smuggling smuggler boats in Turkey. So here we have a lot of things that go together. So first of all, in Europe... They're really upset. A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of people are really, really upset. There's all these immigrants coming in, and what do we do? Uh, it's very difficult. Blah, blah, blah. They're not accepting our ways, all those different things. It seems like a lot of that's happening because the U.S. is burning the food supply at the same time that we're asking them to pay more money for NATO, which is perhaps not the most helpful thing in the world to do. Now, in terms of just Syria, let them grow their food. Let them grow their food. There's we wouldn't no, like it if somebody did that to us. You can't just be like, oh, no, we're, we, we're food. And again, the entire reason that the conflict started as just a civil war was because they didn't have enough food. So it doesn't make any sense to perpetuate that unless you're just literally killing people that you're supposed to be saving for geopolitical reasons. By the way, they don't like that uh, Syria is allied with Russia. Now they're even closer to Russia because they have yeah. to import most of their food from Russia. Yep. So actually, Russia is doing really well on this. So the U.S. is spending money to blow up small peasant farms so that Russia can make money. Good job. And, 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 also, and also, also, it makes Russia look like a better player on the world stage. And look, no, there's no such thing as a perfect government. But, you know, real quick, you know, burning all these wheat fields, you know, sooner or later, there's going to be an accident. And one of our American drones or helicopters or pilots is going to shoot at a Russian convoy. And, oh, no, that's almost a trigger for a, I don't know, something called a global war. I think it's a sequel everyone in the world's been screaming for, World War III. Oh, wait, no, because we'll all be dead if that happens. My God, it's like everyone's, we would not like this if somebody did this to us. And I, I here's the thing, when I ever have brought that question up to maybe really die quick, hard. I know you wanna go back, yeah. I wanna give Jose 30 yeah, seconds because ahead. we're gonna be running out of time. Yeah, yeah, we are actually yeah. running out of time. You know, never mind the heroics, but like if the intelligence community was Harry Potter, it's like the CIA's like psychopath colonial Gryffindor and the FBI's like really cold meathead nationalist, you know, Slytherin and all the, everybody else is all the other chambers that you don't really care about, but it's just there to, at fodder and it's a mess it's a mess yeah. we have like a little weird mess of people that just don't take human lives into account yeah. so one thing before we, we cut over to kit i want to ask the chat 
Uh, do you think these helicopters are uh, blaring America fuck yeah as they do this? I'm just curious. What do you guys think?